In this section I'm going to do a quick check of the model to see if it's putting out results that I'd expect. Um, here's the model I drew earlier with the tank and the pipes uh, connecting the two, the existing tank and the proposed tank. Remember I've got a straight piece of tank, uh, a straight piece of uh, pipe between my booster inlet and outlet. I will draw in the uh, the booster pump or the pump there later. Um, to do this I'm going to basically check the elevation difference between two nodes, run the model and see if it's giving me the results I expect. I'm going to take out this tank out of the uh, calculations for now by listing its initial water level as zero, therefore it's an empty tank. And that leaves the existing tank here as the only tank in the model with water to affect the pressure at nodes. I'm going to do a run. It's telling me run was successful. And I'm going to take a look at the elevation of this tank. It is 3757. It's also got a, uh, a water level of 10 feet, so the total liquid level in that tank is 3767. The elevation of this node down here is 3740, so the uh, elevation difference between this tank and this node should uh, result in the pressure at that node. Uh, and the model does list the pressure. Uh, it's 11.7 psi. Uh, let's see if we get a similar pressure by doing a, a hand calc for that. So grab my calculator here. So 3767 seven, subtract 3740. It's 27 feet. Let's convert that over to psi by dividing by 2. Point three, and we get a fairly similar answer with uh, 11.74 and the models uh, calculating 11.7 so I'm pretty happy with that accuracy there. And that just uh, gives you confidence in the model uh, lets you know that uh, what you've drawn in this simple model so far is uh, working as you'd expect it and we can go on now to do the more complex uh, components and modeling.